हेलो एवरी वन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न क्वार्टाइल्स एंड डेसाइल्स देर आर थ्री क्वार्टाइल्स विच डिवाइड द डेटा इंटू फोर इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड देर आर नाइन डेसाइल्स विच डिवाइड द डेटा इंटू टेन इक्वल पार्ट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द लास्ट मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी नेम इज परसेंटाइल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ परसेंटाइल्स the observations p1 p2 up to p99 which divide the data into 100 equal parts with data arranged in ascending or descending order what is the median median is the middle most observations which divide the data into how many equal parts two the quartiles there are three quartiles q1 q2 q3 which divide the data into how many equal parts four equal parts deciles there are nine decimals d1 d2 up to d9 which divide the data into how many equal parts 10 similarly percentiles means there are 99 percentiles which divides the data into 100 equal parts but we need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order now see case 1 for ungroup data what is the formula for calculating the percentiles for ungroup data formula is pi is equal to i in bracket n plus 1 divided by 100th observation when data arranged in ascending or descending order where small n is number of observations and what are the values of i i values are 1 to up to 99 because there are 99 percentiles which divide the data into 100 equal parts let's see example calculate p15 p26 and p59 for following data p15 means 15th percentiles p26 means 26th percentiles and last 59th percentiles and the data we are given 26 30 35 5 6 7 9 20 40 45 11 18 15 49 and last is 16 so to find out the values of percentiles we need to arrange the data in ascending or descending order here the ascending order data is 5 6 7 9 11 15 18 20 26 30 35 40 45 49 and last is 60 and here the total number of observations we are given in example is 15 so here the small n value is 15 So first calculate the p15. So for p15, p put i is equal to 15 in the formula. What is the formula? Pi is equal to i in bracket n plus 1 divided by 100th observation. Put i is equal to 15. So p15 is equal to i value is 15, n value is 15 plus 1 divided by 100th observation this 15 plus 1 that is 16 16 divided by 100 that is 0.16 so 0.16 into 15 that is 2.4th observation so how to calculate the 2.4th observation this 2.4 is written as 2 plus 0.4 so first digit is 2 so second observation plus 0.4 into in bracket after the second observation there is the third observation so third minus second just plug put the values of second and third observation in the formula so which one is the second observation in ascending order data 6 so 6 plus 0.4 as it is but in bracket which one is the third observation 7 so 7 minus 6 so 7 minus 6 that is 1 1 into 0.4 that is 0.4 so 0.4 plus 6 that is 6.4 so p15 value is 6.4 now the second is p26 so p for p26 put i is equal to 26 in the formula what is the formula pi is equal to i in bracket n plus 1 divided by 100th observation so p26 is equal to 26 in bracket n value is 15 so 15 plus 1 divided by 100 so 15 plus 1 that is 16 16 divided by 100 that is 0.16 so 0.16 into 26 that is 
16 observation so how to calculate this 4.16 this 4.16 is written as 4 plus 0.16 so first digit is 4 so fourth observation plus 0.16 as it is after the fourth observation there is the fifth observation so minus previous one fourth observation just plug the value of fourth observation and fifth observation in the formula so fourth observation is 9 so plus 0 0.16 as it is into in bracket which one is the fifth observation 11 minus 9 so 11 minus 9 that is 2 2 into 0 0.16 that is 0 0.32 0 0.32 plus 9 that is 9.32 so p26 value is 9.32 now the last is p59 for p59 put i is equal to 59 in the formula formula is pi is equal to i in bracket n plus 1 divided by 100th observation so p59 is equal to i value is 59 in bracket n is 15 plus 1 divided by 100 so 15 plus 1 that is 16 16 divided by 100 that is 0 0.16 so 0 0.16 into 59 so value is 9.44th observation so how to calculate this 9.44th observation 9.44 is written as 9 plus 0 0.44 so first digit is 9 so 9th observation plus 0 0.44 after the ninth observation there is the tenth observation minus ninth observation just plug the value of ninth observation tenth observation in the formula so which one is the ninth observation 26 so 26 plus 0 0.44 in bracket tenth observation is 30 so 30 minus 26 so 30 minus 26 that is 4 so 0 0.44 into 4 that is 1.76 so 1.76 plus 26 that is 27.76 so p15 value is 27.76 so this is the method of finding percentiles in a ungroup data two for group data so how to calculate the percentiles in group case first step is to calculate lcf that is less than cumulative frequency second step is to calculate i n divided by 100 where capital n is total frequency and i values are 1 to up to 99 because there are 99 percentiles which divide the data into how many equal parts 100 equal parts and the last step is see the lcf just greater than i n divided by 100 then corresponding value of x is ith percentile let's see exam Calculate the percentiles P1, P9, P24 and P78. The data we are given the X along with their frequency. Okay, that means the given data is group data. So the first step for calculating the percentiles in a group case is to calculate LCF and then second step is IN divided by 100. So first calculate LCF. How to calculate LCF? First frequency value as it is. So 2 as it is. Then 2 plus 5 that is 7. 7 plus 7 that is 14. 14 plus 13 that is 27. Then 27 plus 21 that is 48. 48 plus 6 that is 54. 54 plus 8 that is 62. 62 plus 3 that is 65. And here the capital N is 65 that is sum of column of F that is total frequency. So how to calculate P9 that is 9th percentile. So for calculating P9 put I is equal to 9. Then calculate I n divided by 100. So I is 9 capital N is 65 divided by 100. So value is 5.85. So see the LCF value just greater than 5.85. So here which LCF value is just greater than 5.85. So 7 is just greater than 5.85. So the corresponding value of X is 9th percentiles. So here the P9 value is 7.5. Now the next is P24. So for P24 put I is equal to 24. So I n divided by 100 that is I is 24. Capital N is 65 divided by 100. So the value is 15.6. So see the LCF just greater than 15.6. So here LCF 27 is just greater than 15.6. So the corresponding value of X is 24th percentile so here p24 value is 
5 now the last is p78 for finding the value of p78 put i is equal to 78 so i n divided by 100 so i is 78 capital n is 65 divided by 100 so value is 50.70 so, C the LCF just greater than 50.70. So, here the LCF 54 is just greater than 50.70. So, the corresponding value of X is 78th percentile. So, here the P78 value is 27.5. So, this is the method for calculating the percentiles value in a group case. Okay, now the last is continuous data. So, how to calculate the percentiles in a continuous case? So, for first step is to calculate LCF that is less than cumulative frequency. Now, the next step is to calculate I n divided by 100 where capital N is total frequency and I values are 1 to up to 99. And third step, see the LCF just greater than I n divided by 100 then corresponding class is ith percentile class and what is the formula for calculating the percentiles pi is equal to l plus in bracket i n divided by 100 minus c up upon f into h where l is the lower limit of ith percentile class f is the frequency of ith percentile class h is the class width of ith percentile class and last cf is the lcf value before ith percentile class let's see example calculate percentiles p9 p29 and p78 for following data the data we are given the classes along with their frequency that means the given data is continuous data so for finding the values of percentiles the first step is to calculate the lcf then next step is to calculate i n divided by 100 and see the lcf value just greater than i n divided by 100 then corresponding class is ith percentile class and the formula for calculating percentiles is pi is equal to l plus i n divided by 100 minus c up upon f into h let's see how to calculate lcf value first okay so how to calculate lcf so 12 first frequency value as it is so 12 as it is then 12 plus 22 that is 34 34 plus 28 that is 62 62 plus 38 100 100 plus 37 137 137 plus 29 166 166 plus 20 that is 186 and last 186 plus 14 that is 200 and here capital n is 200 that is total frequency so first calculate p9 for P9 put I is equal to 9. Okay, so calculate next I n divided by 100. So I is 9 and capital N is 200. So 9 into 200 divided by 100. So value is 18. So see the LCF value just greater than 18. So here the LCF value 34 just greater than 18. So the corresponding class is 9th percentile class because here we are calculating the P9. So, 9th percentile class is 2 to 4. Okay, what is the formula for calculating the percentiles? Pi is equal to L plus I n divided by 100 minus C up upon F into H. So, put I is equal to 9. So, P9 is equal to what is the value of L? L is the lower limit of 9th percentile class what is the lower limit 2 so 2 then plus i n divided by 100 value is 18 then cf cf is the lcf value before the uh, ith percentile class so here the lcf value before that class is 12 so 12 divided by f is the frequency of 9th percentile class so f frequency is 22 multiply h is the class width how to calculate class width upper limit minus lower limit so here upper limit is 4 and the lower limit is 2 so 4 minus 2 that is 2 okay then next step 18 minus 12 that is 6 so, 6 divided by 22 as it is multiplied by 2. So, 6 divided by 10, 22 that is 0 0.2727. Multiply by 2 that is 0 0.5454. So, 2 plus 0 0.5454. So, answer is 2.5454. So, this is the value of P9 that is 9th percentile. Now, the next P 
24. So, how to calculate P24? So, put I is equal to 24. So, I n divided by 100, I is 24. So, 24 into capital N is 200 divided by 100. So, the value is 48. See the LCF value just greater than 48. So, here LCF 62 is just greater than 48. So, the corresponding class is 24th percentile class. So, our 24th percentile class is 4 to 6. What is the formula for calculating the P percentiles PI? PI is equal to L plus IN divided by 100 minus CF upon F into H. Put I is equal to 24. So, P24 is equal to L. What is the value of L? L is the lower limit of 24th percentile class. So, here the lower limit is 4 plus IN divided by 100 value is 48 minus what is the CF value? CF is the LCF before percentile class. So, LCF value is 34 divided by F is the frequency of that class. So, frequency of class is 28 multiply by H. H is the class width. How to calculate class width? Upper limit minus lower limit. So, 6 minus 4 that is 2. So, 2 is value of H. Then next step 48 minus 34 that is 14. Then divided by 28 multiply by 2. 14 divided by 28 that is 0 0.5 multiply by 2 that is 1. So, 4 plus 1 that is 5. So, this is the value of 24th percentile. Okay, now the last P78. For P78 put I is equal to 78. So, I n divided by 100. So, I value is 78 capital N is 200 divided by 100. So, value is 156. So, see the LCF just greater than 156. So, here the LCF 166 is just greater than 156. So, the corresponding class is 78th percentile class. So, 78th percentile class is 10 to 12. Okay. So, formula is PI is equal to L plus I n divided by 100 minus C F upon F into H. Put I is equal to 78. So, P78 is equal to what is the lower limit? Lower limit is 10. So, 10 plus I n divided by 100 value is 156. So, C F. C F is before that class L C F value. So, 137. Divided by F is the frequency of that class. So, frequency is 29 and H is the class width. So, class width is calculated as upper limit minus lower limit. So, 12 minus 10 that is 2. So, in next step 156 minus 137 that is 19 divided by 29 multiply by 2. So, 19 divided by 29 that is 0 0.6551 multiply by 2 that is 1.3102. So, 10 plus 1.3102. So, the value is 11.31002. So, this is the value of P78 that is 78th percent. Now, Next is how to calculate percentiles by graphically. To find out the percentiles by graphically, we use the OGU curve. There are two types of OGU curve, less than OGU curve and more than OGU curve. Used either any one. Here I am using the less than OGU curve. So, how to draw the less than OGU curve? Take upper limit of exclusive classes on x axis that is upper class boundary and LCF value on y axis and plot the points on x y plane and join these points by the smooth curve called as the less than OQ curve. So, to draw the less than OQ curve we need the classes is in exclusive form. So, our classes is already in exclusive form. So, no need to convert it. So, what are the upper class boundary values? So, first class having the upper limit 2, then next 4, then 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and last is 16. Okay. Take upper limit that is upper class boundary on x axis and LCF value on y axis and just plot points on the x y plane. For 2 upper class boundary what is the LCF value? It is 12. Then for 4 it is 34. Then for 6 it is 62. Then for 10 8 it is 100. Then for 10 it's 137 then for 12 it's 166 then for 14 it's 186 and last for 16 it's 200 now just join the points by the smooth curve then how to calculate percentiles by using the less than o give curve okay for p9 what is the value of i n divided by 100 it's 18 
for p24 what is the value of in divided by 100 it's 48 and for p78 what is the value of in divided by 100 it's 156 now see this point 18 48 and 156 on y axis so here is the 18 point then 48 and the last 156 draw the horizontal line from that point up to the curve and from the point where the horizontal line meets the meets the curve from that point draw the perpendicular y sector on x axis wherever the point of this line meets on the x axis this point is nothing but your percentile so this is the first percentile value p9 this is the second p29 and this is the last p78 so this is the method of finding the percentiles value by using the graph now the last merits and demerits of percentiles merits and demerits of percentiles is same as the merits of merits and demerits of median quartiles and deciles so merits of percentiles is are it is simple to understand and easy to calculate then it is calculated by graphically then it is least affected by extreme observation because it does not depends on all observations then it is calculated for qualitative data and also for the open end classes now the demerits are it is not based on all observations so not rigidly defined and if it is not rigidly defined then it is not capable for further mathematical treatment so these are the merits and demerits of percentiles in next lecture we will see the next chapter name is the majors of dispersion thank you